So some of y'all might be wondering, why am I using snow in Inu? Well, there's two reasons. One, it got used in SCL recently, and so I feel like trying it myself. But two, I'm a Floridian, dude. We don't get snow. So this is the best I got, man. <laughs> of course, y'all have been the content as of late, and I know you have. I know you have. You don't even need to try and pretend like you haven't. I'm gonna need to see all of you watching that are not yet subscribed, subscribe. You get daily uploads. You get some of the greatest content imaginable. Now, a random comment right now. Why the hell does the back of Satitan look like he's bald? <laughs> I thought at first I had a Satatl on my team. <laughs> where, where are all the spikes? Why are they all just at the front? <laughs> but yeah, Snow's pretty cool. Obviously, NU's tenure with weather this gen has been quite tumultuous. You had sand being pretty insane in one of the earlier metas. Not to the point that people thought it was broken, but it was really strong. Rain's been really good at multiple points, including right now. Sun was so good, we had to ban Drought. And you even see Sun coming back a little bit in some individual tournaments. And I don't know if Snow will do the same, but... We're gonna try and find out today if there's any potential. Of course, it's this guy doesn't seem to want to play Pokemon. We're gonna pause. I'll be right back either with this guy making a move or with another battle. All right, well, that other guy didn't want to play, so now I'm facing Mono Bug. Um, I just... I don't understand, by the way, but the ladder is, like, incredibly dead, and it is very frustrating right now. I'm trying to find games that I just can't. <laughs> I'm gonna get my rocks up, though, early. I am specially defensive on this perp, by the way. Not because I think specially defensive Swampert is... A particularly good Pokemon, but instead because... Oh, sub. That's a little scary. But instead because I find that this type of team probably needs it to be specially defensive. So we're going to do this. We're going to Volt Switch into our Obama Snow here. Just break the sub. So this will work out just fine for me. I get my Veil now. If he subs up again, then it's kind of cringe. Okay, this is chill. We're just gonna hope they don't sub here as I go Globro with my eject button and I can eject into like Sand Slash or something and spin. I can even go to Titan, but like, I think I'm gonna be too slow. This is just fine because I'm literally trying to get them to force me out and with Veil up, they can't kill me. Bro, like, can we not do this? Please? Also, shouts to Glitchic City for the music. What? What? Like, why, man? Why? Why are you? Why are you the trash monster? I kind of don't even want to spin now, but also I really want to spin because the worst he can do is sucker me. And yeah, so yeah, he leech lives. It does like nothing, and I still have a sand boost or not a sand boost, a snow boost as well. So I'm kind of big chilling here on the sucker punch. It, it's not gonna do anything. Also, I just realized earthquake is objectively far better to go for here because it can't miss. <laughs> Oh, I, I see. They brought out their other sticky webmon. I see. <laughs> All right. Well, let's try to get Axel Chip. Oh. Hey, remember when I said, by the way, um, Axel isn't worth going for because it can miss? Yeah. That's what I was on about. Yeah, I'm a little bit better than my opponent. What can I say? You're not jolly. You're not jolly. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Sap sands. God damn it. Why can't you be stronger? <laughs> <laughs> Spide up, dude. Useless shitter. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Ghost of Titan. But dude, look what I mean. Doesn't it look like Satatl still? It's so sad. It's so sad. <laughs> My little Satatl. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm now gonna Ice Shard his team a few times and win. I literally don't think with my rocks up that they have any ability to win this game. Actually, I lied to you because they can- they are going to try and intimidate Shuffle enough to where Satitan is not at plus like four or more so they're gonna switch here probably into a raquinid and they're, they're literally just gonna try and do this never mind my opponent did not want to do that um so that's fine with me i'm gonna knock this and we'll see if i shard at plus five is enough to ko the heracross with the help of my has well it's definitely enough to ko galvantula <laughs> but heracross is a little bit more defense than the average pokemon so let's see and it still ko's it all right wonderful yeah, I, I was searching for, like, five or more minutes for that game. <laughs> okay, there we go. Thank God Zangoose is here to save the day. <laughs> Alright, let's see. So, 
he's got a scary hyper offense team. I'm, I'm a little worried, but I actually think that Pert lead is really good for me. He's probably going to lead off with, like, Croak or Tauros, if I had to guess, because he... Or even... He's going to try to lead something that doesn't let a Bomb of Snow set veil, so I'm going to lead the Pert. <laughs> he could totally be Bullet Seed, and I'm just not going to respect the possibility of it. Yeah, we're really just going to do this. And I think I just Blizzard immediately, too? Always? Yeah, just make sure we get rid of that. Because I don't want to set Veil and even let him do the Encore Lock stuff. I just don't think that it's worth it. I don't think I need to yet. Now, losing Icy Rock is, of course, going to be annoying long-term. But, since I have Satitan, it may not be the biggest deal. The main question for me is how I beat Tauros. Th this mon will be the headache inducer. I think Kilo can do a lot in this matchup to help alleviate that issue, but I cannot deny this mon is a scary Pokemon. If it's Terra Steel, at the very least, I could force him to Terrastalize, and I've got Earthquake on both my homies here. Plus, I do still have um Galarian Slowbro to check, and I have um Flamethrower too, so if he's Terra Steel, then we cover that. We can still get our chip. I have Shell Sidearm to threaten poisons. And also, I'm running Shell Sidearm instead of Sludge Bomb, literally just because I don't feel like Calm Mind Mons deserve fun. I don't feel like they deserve happiness. <laughs> so they go Tornadus. This Mons annoying because he can just Heat Wave me here. I'm gonna go Glowbro because I'm a Jack Button, so I will tank one hit. Yeah, and that's why I did not immediately go Sand Slash because I know that's a possibility. And now I get to go Kilo. And I'm gonna Weather Ball. Because if they go Flygon, I wanna immediately punish. Now, if he Terra steals here, that's an incredible play. It will not do anything for them. Also, I don't know if Volt Absorb is right. I probably could just make this competitive. Originally, I was Volt Absorb because I didn't know for sure. Are you kidding me? This lived? And he burned me? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> what a dumb play, man. What the fuck? Dumb turn, I mean. Come on, man. I don't understand why you stay in there, though. I also don't understand why Weather Ball only did 85. Is that just normal damage? It's kind of crazy. Ah, uh, I mean, Pert's really free here because he... He doesn't do enough damage with anything. Like, if he goes Tauros... Tauros is actually a little scary. I I'm gonna be honest. Oh, God, he recognizes that immediately. Um... Now we're actually, like, chilling. Nice crit. Deserved as well. Going to you. No items, so he's probably boots. I'm a shell sidearm. Even though he could Terra Steel here or something. Because, again, we talked about why Terra Steel isn't, like, the biggest issue for me. And, yeah, he didn't go for it. So now I'm going to slack off. If he Terra waters this, then I'm actually just always happy with that as a result. And yeah, as you can see, two special shell sidearms, so pretty chill on flipping the matchup. And I'm just going to slack off all the way up. I do not feel like this mon should be allowed to get me low. And I'm going to shell sidearm here. Knowing Milo, this is where he crits me. <laughs> oh my god, dude, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I'm so smart. Dude, like, I just know how this game works. You slack off to the range you want to be at, and then the fucker immediately gets the crits. <laughs> oh, no. If he goes flying on, I will stay in an ice beam, by the way. There's just no other possible route that makes sense to me. I want to keep this around, because I guess it checks Toxicroak and, and checks Flygon. So I'm going to switch into you. This also, of course, as you see, gives me my regenerator there. Um, I can actually just stay in an EQ some. Yeah, that's fine. I'm actually going to flip turn here, though, because I think they boom burst. And I'm going to live in torrent range. I'm going to get the torrent boosted boom off. I think I, I was actually kept like 2 HP outside of range, by the way. Just throwing that out there. Just throwing it out there. I'm literally like 2 HP outside of the range. <laughs> ah, Fire Blast. Oh no. Um, I think we just win now. 
Actually, no, because he's booster speed, so this is really ass for me. Um... Yeah, no, that actually was really, really bad. I have to do like this and hope for the best. I don't think I've got a lot else I can do here. This is a tough position. Yo, booster speed scream is really hard to manage because I'm not roar, I'm knockoff. And I think knockoff is right. You want to be able to help with um, Zong and you just want to have as much overload of it as you can. It's why I'm like triple knockoff because I think Brown Zong is going to be one of the worst mons to try to face with this style team. Can I even ever find a belly drum opportunity at this point with the Titan? No, I don't think I can. Oh no, my opponent disconnected. Come back. Please. I want to see how I play this game out. No. Get your ass back here. <laughs> yeah, we'll just Axel here. I mean, I honestly don't even think I KO. Like, here's the reality. I just need him in range of Ice Shard though, right? So like, Sand Slash, Alola. Um, Slush Rush support close enough. Nope. And we go Adamant. And then we look at Scream Tail. Well, none of these are the right set, so we'll just do this. And this is not the right set of moves. Um, as you see- Oh, Triple Axel does kill if I land them all. So I, ge I guess we're right to go for that. Oh, let me, um, still t make sure I'm pressing the Terra button. <laughs> I literally have to. I have to Terra here, because if you Fire Blast me, I'm dead. He's faster, and I will die. Um, unfortunately for Zangus, Oh my god, he came back. Five seconds left, and he's like, ah! Well, like I said, unfortunately, I do have to Terra here because I just can't risk the, um, Fire Blast damage. But it sucks that this is what I have to rely on, right? So we take that. Not fine, but we do take it. One. Dude, like, come on, man. <laughs> I killed! Y'all saw the calc! I can't- I, this is two times now where I get one hit? What is th So I get crit when I said I would. Okay, well I lost because my opponent lucked the shit out of me. What what am I supposed to do about this? I gotta go Globro, Sack, Kilo? This is really dumb, man. This is really stupid. Um I I, I ha the only play that I feel like I got wrong was the torn play, and that's kinda just like there's nothing I can do about my opponent staying in with Tornadus to Heat Wave. Because if I volt switch, by the way, too, like he's in a really bad spot because I know then that he's just I, I would just go perp again. Um. Is there any chance even of winning now? I don't think there is. I, I think we just lose because of the luck. Maybe I somehow can do something? I don't know. Because I think this just dies to boom from this range. Um. I'm trying to think this through. I have to switch, and I have to go you. I have to Ice Shard. I I'm gonna try to play out this as best I can. Cause he has to- now he has to go Croak. Cause you can't go Flygon. CC always kills, right? Like, I, I don't even know why I'm calcing this. But I'll do it just for the vibe. Toxicroak. Oh god, yeah, I die. I super died to CC, so I have to switch. I don't... <laughs> See, like, there's a world where I EQ here, because he tries to sword stance as I go Globro. But, like, I don't think I could risk it. I think I literally always have to switch. Yeah. And I flamethrower here. Okay, well, my opponent actually switched, so that's interesting. I mean, I literally have to switch myself. I'm gonna Earthquake, I think. I have to Earthquake and just hope they switch. I don't think I have another play. I, I think this is literally my only route. I technically get two chances because of my um Citrus, so even if they Scale Shot, I should live. Yeah, I, I genuinely don't think I've got another route, and yeah, so I get him. GG. 
So that that's the kind of play where you just it's a 50-50 to the very end. And then I sure should be enough. Yeah, nice. Oh my god. You got so you gotta clutch up. You you literally just gotta clutch up. Th this was a very unfortunate game in some spots. Like like we talked about, um This turn was unfortunate. I thought for sure you switch and preserve the torn, because I think it's got a decent enough matchup just in terms of coverage, but I think my opponent decided instead, like, Torn is just not going to be able to deal with the Ice type. So I think, I mean, it's fair. I kind of just expected them to try to pivot Flygon. And then you also have the um, Terra Steel turn, if he's Terra Steel, it is. And I can force awkward lines for Kilo. This mod, of course, was scary. Um, I outplay it long enough. I'm just unfortunate that the crit... <laughs> my, my crit predict was unfortunately correct. <laughs> uh, Screamer was a bit of a no nuisance, of course, too, like I talked about. The fact that they, um did just enough to not give me my range for torrent flip was annoying because it keeps them a little higher but i still did enough to where what i needed satisfied was going to be satisfied maybe i could have teared my obama here instead of my sand slash later in veiled i just don't feel like that was right ever so i think this was fine um th obviously the axle miss there is terrible but that's kind of just what you accept with triple axle and then I do play the rest of the game out about as well as I can. We get just enough chips, sack the perk, KO that was shard. We do get in on CC instead of a, um, if he sword stanced up, I think honestly that was game over for me. That's what I'm talking about. Like at the end, it's a series of 50-50s. If he SDs, then he's going to, he can go all the way up to plus six because I have to constantly live in fear of sucker punch. I would have to outplay every single sucker punch just by switching. And then, of course, here, he did just EQ instead of, um, doing anything else. And I got him there with the EQ on the switchback. So, very tight game there. Very difficult, but, like I said, you just gotta clutch up sometimes. It, it, <laughs> HO versus HO is always scary. Though, this isn't even really hyper offense. This is more just generic offense. So... It is what it is. The lesson we can take from this is Sand Slash Alola once again looks like the worst Pokemon ever. I'm also adamant on it, which I feel like is probably not good. But I, I'm kind of just assuming that Globro plus Kilo and then the speed from Slush Rush will most of the time be enough to deal with Nian Shell. The only reason I say I don't like adamant is because of Scarf Shell. And I guess the speed from Slush Rush doesn't even help because my mons are all slower. But I'm greeting for adamant today. Leave me alone. <laughs> we'll pause. We'll get another battle. Be right back. Alright, you tell me. Which which of these demons is KO bleh, KOing my entire team this time? The Serena? No, no, no. It's the Oink alone. <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> I do need to calc this real quick. I am unfortunately Ice Shard instead of Ice, like, Spinner or anything. I'm a, I'll calc Defensive, too. I, they're not Defensive. I just need to see Knock Damage. Alright, so I've decided that they are, in fact, Offensive and Knock Off Kills. God, I don't even know what... I'm gonna leave Kilo. Bird Sexual. Well, Bird Sexual, I will be using Thunderbolt here. Let's see, which bird is better? Which bird is better? Kilo Watchel or T Cannon? Fun fact, back in Sun and Moon Inu, I had a couple two cannon teams because for some reason I really was on a two cannon binge at a point. <laughs> I was just like, you know what? Yeah, this mon's got promise. It did not have any promise. That mon was a whole, whole pack of ass. So two cannon does in fact get one shot by my Thunderbolt. That's very good knowledge. Let's see if Driflin follows the same fate. No, because my, all right, all right. Let's break the sub real quick. Let's break the sub. So now they get unburdened. Okay, I, I don't like any of this. That killed from full. I don't even feel like I should be shocked, but I still am. <laughs> Alright, my opponent's a terrible human being, as you all witnessed there. Yeah, a terrible human being trying to <laughs> trying to air slash village me. How dare you? <laughs> Dude, I guess I'm just stunned that Kilo's that fragile. I don't all right, let's see what happens now. I'm gonna try flip turret. Oh god! Ah, oh, damn it, bitch! Why? <laughs> oh god! Yo, they're body pressing me, right? I'll live though. Okay, they're body slamming me, which is far less demonic. 
All right, and we do this, and I Terra so that I don't get paralyzed. It'll be EQ. Beautiful. All right, so Titan, good job! You're sweeping another terrible board, another terrible team. Well, it's a terrible Pokemon, but there's more than one left. Yeah, I'm, I'm ice sharding, friend. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. We will be knocking the Serena. So as you see here, my opponent testing my knowledge of Pokemon. Um, I respect it. I'm gonna ice shirt this too, just because I don't know if he's Scarf. <laughs> oh god. Uh, I definitely also said they're, they're sweeping another terrible person. <laughs> just because of the triplet sequence from earlier. Like, how dare you? How dare you bring back my Nemesis Oinkalone as well? <laughs> Yo, this video is so funny. These are not the highest quality games. I think the uh, HO matchup was a pretty good one, just because, again, it, it shows how you can use literally all your resources still up to the end of the game to try and um, play it out. I do think, actually, Ice Beaming may have been a little bit... Honestly, I was going to say, I feel like Ice Beaming may have been a little bit better, but there's a world where me Ice Beaming and KOing Flygon is just worse. And I say that because then it gives them Croak. And they're definitely Swords Dancing then. And I don't know if I win versus the Croak at that point. I, I feel like it was actually maybe a little better that I caught Croak with an EQ instead of catching the, um, what's it called? The, I know Pokemon names, instead of catching the Flygon with an Ice Beam. So this guy's got webs, I guess. A little scary of a team. Though, the Titan does look really solid. Also, I believe Adamant is faster than Scarf Hisui type. Yes, it is. So that's actually really good for me. I'm a lead part this game. I like getting rocks early. Especially with this dude Sash on here. Well, this is an incredible lead for me, because I will be upping against the Typhlosion. You are not Terra Blast Grass. Yep. <laughs> like I said, you are not Terra Blast Grass. I'm actually just going to take my EQ chip on this, too. Alright, well, I didn't really take chip of any meaningful kind there, but still a little bit of damage. <laughs> still a little bit of damage. Um, hey, is there anything stopping me from going Abomasnow and Veiling here? There is, actually. It's not that, though. I can assure you, it, it is not that. Um... I feel like this wins. Right? What is he like what does he stop me with? Let me calc something real quick. Does this die to plus six knock? It does. Hmm. I'm just gonna start pressing Earthquake now. I'm not sure how they stop my Satitan from running their entire team over. He's gonna have to switch and sack something. Oh my god. Of course he is Protect Toxic Overquill. You are a disgusting person. Oh god, that's evil. I'm literally just gonna attack what's in front of me, by the way. Oh my god, dude. He just destroyed me. Also, dude, my Citrus Berry? Did, did not help in this exchange. Dude, what, what was this? Protect Toxic Terra Flying Overquill? Who? I almost knocked there as well. I'm really disappointed with myself. Knockoff was just better that turn. Wow, I'm about to lose to Protect Toxic Overquill. You know what's crazy too? Keo for, I think, months, years, is on record saying he thinks Protect Toxic is one of the worst things to ever happen to Pokemon. And right now, I find myself agreeing with him. What the fuck is this? That Triple Axle did a million. Oh my god. Dude. Why? Of course this dude's quick draw for no reason. And I still get people asking why quick claw's bad. Because this is dumb. Why am I randomly taking extra damage? For no reason. I learned it to satisfy some people that really think that hacks is just something I should have to accept no matter what in my games. I'm gonna go uh, up on the snow here. Like, no, I will not allow meaningless hacks like that to just play a role in my games. I'm taking my KO. <laughs> I'm I've learned that this overquill is not to be trifled with. And now, uh, Sack Pert. They lock into Shadow Ball. Melodic is still a problem, but I do have the um technology to beat it. I'll have a Shadow. I swear, if I die to Shadow Ball, this mod's actually slower, which is um unfortunate. 
The Scald. Thunderbolt better kill. Thunderbolt from Kilo better kill here. Okay, well, my opponent definitely does not know whether Ball is a move that this runs, so he is going to be giving me Torterra here. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, he definitely does not know whether Ball is a move he has to prep for. <laughs> um, how much did Shadow Ball do to Purge? I need to see the 38. Because I need to count this. Is he, um... Is he Scarf or is he Specs? And I'm 252 Sassy. Uh, he is Specs. Okay. So, I'm just faster than you. You're not Scarf Galvantula. I refuse. Yeah, like I said, you're not Scarf Galvantula, man. You're also just not living that. GG, man. I, I appreciate the thought of trying to bait, but the trusty damage calculator will not allow this tomfoolery to continue. You will not be getting me once again. I fell for your tricks with that overquill once. I will not fall for them again. I also thought about EQing the quill immediately just so I didn't have to um deal with the risk of getting toxic. Like I thought, okay, I could just EQ KO this quill now. Even, like, I was okay to burn my terror ground mentally. I thought that would be just a fine play. Um, because literally, I was just thinking to myself, I probably could win with over not Overgrowth, so Titan later. And so maybe just avoiding the poison is better all around. Um, turns out the, the, the voices in my head were correct. So, they were very smart. Oh no, and my store is trying to have me... My workplace is trying to have me pick up a shift. Oh no, you will not, I will not be falling for your tricks. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm gonna pause. We'll get one more game and be right back. All right, this guy's got, I think, Sticky Web. So this is a very scary matchup because this could be like Banded Raptor and Spec Shandy. And yeah, I mean, both of those are really tough to beat. I'm trying to figure out what the best way to navigate that is because like Shandy being faster than everything on my team is not exactly... A, a good thing. <laughs> I know this may shock some of you, but that's actually a great way for me to lose the game. So I'm gonna lead off with my spinner. I'm gonna press rapid spin turn one. My opponent is a piece of shit. <laughs> I, hate, I hate you. <laughs> I'm literally just gonna knock here. I'm gonna, I just, I don't want webs up, man. Crazy by the way though, to uh, do that. My opponent making an insane play there and it worked out really nicely. Burning Bulwark, man. Oh my god. Yo, he's banded. But I know I live that. Hey. You're banded. Hey, man. What's up? What's good? What's good, little homie? Yeah, what's good, little homie? I'm Ice Shard, too. So, he can't even Burning Bulwark me. Yeah. I could've EQ'd if I really wanted to. I'll EQ here just in case they go Shandy or Overquill. Overquill would die to EQ. Dude, like, can I stop getting some of the worst luck ever? Why are they getting the double burning? I need my damn turns. If they go into Bramble, I do just KO. If they go Quill, I may be forced into going for a move that is not, um, what's it called? A move that's not EQ. I may have to just shard predicting them to switch. I could also just EQ and say I don't care. This is actually so fine though, because now I just Ice Shard and KO you. Yeah. So, fortunately, if they had done this, by the way, if they had decided to sack something else instead of sacking Overquill, it would have worked out a lot better. This does not kill me with Sneak, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> but yeah, very cool tech. I, I always love an Indoor Cuss stat. Always love a good Indoor Cuss stat, but it will not work there. They needed to sack, like, Bombardier or some other mon on their team. Um, I could preserve this. I'm just gonna take my chip. That did not... I lived. <laughs> Yo, what the hell is that? Well, we lived that. I will Ice Shard again. They don't Sucker Punch me. How the hell did the Titan win this game? What? Dude, I thought we were screwed when this Smeargle outplayed the hell out of me with the Burning Bulwark on turn one. Normally, you just don't see that move. <laughs> Smeargle, this gen made Smeargle so much more annoying because it had so many new moves. 
and, and all of them are annoying. But and now you also you can't even taunt Smeargle anymore because it's gonna have Stone Axe and Cecil's Edge to set hazards. And I still have Nuzzle if I want to paralyze paralyze you too. And you can't taunt that. But if you choose not to taunt me, then I've got Burning Bulwark, I've got Baneful Bunker, I've got Webs. This mod's a really annoying to prep for nowadays, and I'm not I'm not a fan. Except I am a fan because I've been on record saying I thought Smeargle's like viable in this tier. <laughs> Fortunately, though, my opponent mistimed their Custap. I actually I guess it didn't matter. I do need to remind myself Custap is just moving within your priority bracket. If they were Aqua Jet, then it mattered, I guess. <laughs> but I've got a feeling they were not Aqua Jet, so my mistake. I I did forget Custap Berry is not literally priority. Um, for those of you that. We're on my same dream of thought. Yeah, first in its priority bracket. So if they went for um like crunch, for example, I was always faster because ice shard is plus one priority. So yeah, <laughs> good to remember that, of course. But it's an e I feel like it's one of the easiest things to forget, just as your um brainless laddering. But I'll probably all enjoy it. I think Titan did really well in this video. I mean, that's easy to see. It literally is why I was saved in the HO matchup because I had EQ to smack the croak on the switch. And then I die shirt to pick off the gun, so very, very nicely done. <laughs> I'll catch y'all in the next in the next video. Tomorrow, hopefully we have a a guest on the channel for our Halloween special. And by Halloween special, I mean it's a video being uploaded on Halloween. There will be nothing special about it. <laughs> Peace.